peace family caesar i am back with another video i hope everyone wherever you are around this world on this planetary plane <laughs> that you are doing phenomenal that you are living your life to the fullest and you are filled with joy peace and love just wanted to talk to you all today it's been a minute since i've created a long form video but the lord was calling me the energy was was speaking into me man it's it's interesting because the closer it gets to my birthday the more my hair grows the more creative energy i get um but it also puts an emphasis on time right like the closer you get to your birthdays the more you start feeling like dang am i doing enough am i what's going on like the days the weeks the months go by so quick and i'm already at the time again with my solar return i'm about to be 32 32 years around around the sun man but i feel i feel good i feel good but one thing i realized i just came from playing pickleball and one message that came to me while I was in there and in retrospect over the last few days as well, too, because everything, everything connects when you when you take your time. And that's exactly that. Slow down in your life. A lot of us, the world, society pushes. Go, 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 go. I'm on go. You feel me? Like, don't nothing stop but the money. Like all of these sayings that misconstrued our reality of what time actually is and what our life really means, right? We're so focused on time, but if you look at what eternity is, a lot of us will get scared of that, right? In space, in the outer realms, there's no time and things are as they are. So imagine if that was like that here on, on planet Earth where there was no time. It would feel weird, right? So understanding time is, is really uh, an anomaly of a concept, right? So the fact that we have time, we don't know what your time is like. There was a movie that came out back in the day called In Time with Justin Timberlake and Amanda Seyfried. Go check that movie out. And it shows the real value of what time is this dystopian world their time was limited they had to pay for time everything that they that they that they purchased cut down times of their life and when your time clock ran out on your on your forearm you died so you could literally buy lifelines you could so it was it was a, a weird movie so go check that out but in general in this realm slowing down time is not a bad thing slowing down your daily process take time to be one with yourself to think to meditate, to be present in the current times that you're in, when you're with family, when you're with friends. Understand that these times are supposed to be cherished. These moments are supposed to be cherished. The wind blows for confirmation. These times are supposed to be cherished. And as you continue to, to quote unquote, get older, you realize that certain things matter and certain things don't really matter as much as you may think that they do. So in that, take your time, be patient in life. Nothing that ca that comes quick in life lasts a long time, right? Take time when you're with your partner, when you're with your, your loved one, cherish those moments. When you're making love, cherish those moments, take your time. When you're in a creative mode and you're, you're manifesting art into this realm whether it's painting drawing music juicing whatever take your time be present because all good things take time to create all things that last long take time old marriages when you see old people and they're married and they're like we've been for 60 years 40 years 30 years it's because they took the time to get to know one another they spent time learning that person they went through the good and the bad and they didn't give up early they didn't give up quick right so take that time in your life your life is a marriage as well your life is a marriage 
Take that time and understand yourself. Understand those who are around you. Take your deep breaths. Tomorrow is never promised, but the time that you do have, you need to cherish it, right? So for all who are struggling with feeling like they're being rushed in life, like things need to happen, some things, yes, you do put a sense of urgency on it, but that's understanding the value, right? But not everything is meant to have urgency. Not everything is meant to be, I need to do this, I need to do this because I'm going to die tomorrow. Like, no, no. If it's your time, it's your time. But take your time, right? So you can actually appreciate it. When you're in nature, take the time to look around, open your eyes up, breathe the essence, touch things. All of your senses are here for a reason. And if you're not really appreciating them, what are they really there for? You know, we underappreciate a lot of things in this life. So I want you to take your time and, and be present with yourself, focus, cherish every moment, live your life to the fullest, continue to grow, continue to ask yourself, where can I improve? And watch where your life goes, man. When I was playing pickleball, um, shout out to Ingrid, one of my partners in pickleball, if you see this in general. Sometimes you have to talk people through things. And when you're playing pickleball, the game moves fast, but you win a lot of times when you slow the game down, when you understand your around, your awareness, understand where you're at on the court, right? As I move this camera down, sorry. Understanding where you're at on the court, knowing where you're gonna place the balls, knowing when you need to speed them up, that's life. And that's why I like pickleball so much because it resembles the game of life. So take your time, you know, when you take your time, you're able to win in life games and things usually come out to be masterpieces. You may hear some people say, you know, I've created this in 30 sec five minutes and it was a masterpiece. Like some musicians, they're able to do that. But some of the best projects, not just their singles that they're putting out, but their best bodies of work take two years. They're recording. They drop one album and they're back to in the studio recording for that next album. And it may take one to two years. Right? Four years if you're a Kendrick Lamar fan <laughs> like myself. So you understand. You understand that taking time is necessary. Patience is necessary. Being humble or not being humble. But Knowing when to speak, knowing when to do things, knowing when to act and when to be silent is very important in your life. So I'm not going to go on and on, but go out and get some nature. Enjoy your life. Hydrate. It's hot right now where I'm at in Charlotte, North Carolina. Enjoy your life. And uh, to who all, maybe Aries babies or people born in, you know, late March, April. This message is for you too. Greatness is coming for you. Your time is coming. Your blessings are here. Lean into who that is. Lean into what that is. Take the time to understand yourself. And all things will happen for the betterment of you and your future generations. This is Caesar, the Solar One. And I hope this message resonated with you all. Take the time to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Shout out to everybody. We are close to 200 followers as of April 15th, 2024. So let's get us there to 300, 400 and beyond, man. To the sun and beyond. We are out. I love you all. Until next time. Peace. Do y'all really know what that 299 times two mean? Let me see something. Let me see something. Yes, Lord. Listen, if you don't get the wedges from a gas station, a hood spot. You don't know what's really going on, man. This has been a guilty pleasure of mine ever since I was a kid. I eat so good. I eat as healthy as I can, often as I can. But every once in a while, go ahead and put that hot salt on that wedges, boy. What you talking about? Let me show y'all something. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna 
had to catch up to it too. Come on, man. 